These weeks were really busy for our feral puppies. We started building on what we had built on the weeks before, and we were finally able to get collars on them, leashes, and we started store work like Focus and A Little Obedience. We were able to get a collar on Peanut 2, which was really great. We used Martingales for our ferals. We also had my sister-in-laws come over, and they all got to start feeding the feral puppies. I also switched to, instead of feeding the puppies all in their room, I started having the puppies tethered so you can see them in the background. Um, so they were tethered watching our other dogs work for their food, and we started doing different exercises with them. In this exercise, I have the puppies try and eat out of a cardboard box. You'd be really surprised how difficult it is. You'll see the puppies try and struggle a little bit against the tether in the back, but these are all actually really good. Um, different relaxation and... Um, intensity building skills it makes them want to work with us more when they see our dogs work which is really really great it also starts to teach them a little bit of stuff for settling you can see here peely's having a bit of a hard time with the box so when he didn't want to do it for a couple of minutes i just started rewarding for engagement um we'll do something similar with hazel um these clips are all cut much shorter this training session was like half an hour long but i can't show you guys a whole half an hour thing it's not super exciting so it is sped up it is cut down a little bit I let Hazel kind of struggle. I also turn the box on its side for dogs who are having a harder time eating out of it. That does definitely help. You can also sprinkle some food around outside. Really want to start building up Hazel's confidence because she's one of the ones that's struggling the most. You can see now she's able to start sniffing around the box and sticking her head in, which is really what I'm looking for. I'm still not giving her a ton of attention with it because for her that's actually a little bit too much pressure compared to a puppy like Peanut who likes my attention a little bit more where he would be motivated by it. Um... So she's doing great. Now we have Mac, our bigger puppy. So Mac was doing really great eating out of the box, but he actually knocked it over, which startled him. The box is great because it starts to teach a little bit of recovery. So instead, I just start placing food on and around the box, and he starts eating from that, which is really nice. And I end off our session with a little bit of hand sparring, which is great for getting them to be comfortable with hands and start thinking that uh, we're going to do a little bit more play with them instead of just toys. It gets them a little bit more optimistic, which is really nice. We also even got to take uh, Peanut out to a bar. He did really, or to a brewery. He did really, really nice. He's getting nice and confident. I'm also starting to work on a little bit more tricks with the puppies. So we have a nice paw cue. I'm starting to work a little bit on spin with them, on stay. I'm also starting to work on handling with them. Um, so this is another sped up video, but I'm working a little bit on collar touches. With that, that was a slight collar pull. Someone's going to pull his collar at some point. Um, I'll do ear inspections, eye inspections, I'll look inside of his mouth. Um, you saw a second ago I picked him up and I reward him and I try and make the next tricks really easy after that. I'm not just doing difficult thing after difficult thing, but I am trying to expose him to things that he will need to be able to do in life. So I'm trying to make those much more enjoyable. And again, we end with a little play. And this is a new type of therapy that we started adding, which is essentially cuddle therapy. So you can see uh, Peanut is on the left on the couch. He was already on the couch with us before. He likes to hang out with us. The other puppies, not so much. They really won't choose to hang out with us still. They'll, they'll be around us outside, but they never choose to come and hop up on the couch and give us a nice cuddle. So we've been starting to kind of have set cuddle times with the puppies where we pick them up. We can put them on leash if we need to. Again, I'll manipulate them a little bit, a little bit of handling stuff you can see again. I try and rough them up just a little bit because they will honestly need to tolerate that in their new home and they're at the point where they can do that. And you can see Peanut has absolutely no issue with relaxing on the couch. It's super sweet to see. I love seeing all the progress that these little guys are making and he's settling down right next to our other dogs.